the winner of the 2012 Victorian Nokia Business Innovation Award is Maureen Clifford. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, Nokia, for sponsoring, uh, sponsoring an innovation award and recognising how important innovation is. Uh, thank you, Telstra, and all the other sponsors. I also want to thank all the other women, that are not only in my category, but all the other categories. We've had two sessions with the sponsors and with all the people in all the categories, and we've heard all the stories, and it's just been amazing. And I know you've heard it from several people today, but there's no way I thought I was going to win because all these women have achieved so much, and they're really amazing. I also want to thank my amazing team, who are, uh, many of them are with me today. They took my idea and the constant changes and additions that I had to it. I was always coming back to them with, can we add this or can we change this? So they took all that and they turned it into a real product that we could um, sell and be really successful with. Endeavour was purely an IT consulting company selling and implementing Oracle products. Back in 2007, I had an idea for an environmental accounting and reporting system uh, that could account for, em for emissions from all the sources of greenhouse gases and convert them into CO2 equivalent, which is the common reporting requirement. I had an accounting background, so I'm used to um, working with accounting. But I was used to accounting with dollars and cents, where for every dollar there's always 100 cents. And when I come across trying to account for greenhouse gases, I found very quickly that it doesn't work that way with gases. Each emission source, like electricity and the combustion of diesel, can have many gases associated with it. They have, all have a different global warming potential, making calculations a lot more complex than just dollars and cents. We did a lot of research and we developed the system to comply with legislation around the world, and we developed it um, for the world international standards for reporting greenhouse gases. Most of the large construction companies in Australia now own this product. In 2010, we won an international award over in America. That same year, Oracle in America um, called me in, in Melbourne and asked if I was interested in selling the IP of our product to Oracle. After a lot of due diligence, the purchase happened last year and Oracle bought the product. So now our product, coming from a tiny little company in Melbourne, is now owned by a huge worldwide company like Oracle. It's been translated into several languages and it's now in their core base system available for sale in every country around the world. We're very proud of that. It's not very often in IT that you feel that, you can, that you're actually doing something uh, that, that can help the world, but with this product, companies that use it are able to see all their emissions right down to a facility or down to a truck even, and they can see exactly where everything's coming from to help them decrease their environmental footprint. Innovation helped our company succeed through the global financial crisis and we now have a division that consults in environmental issues. They do environmental strategy, environmental issue consulting, and environmental audits, and this has nothing to do with IT. So out of that innovation, we've come up with a whole new division that is totally different to what we started out as. People think about new ways of doing things every day. It's taking those thoughts and putting them into, ac into action that creates the innovation for companies and people to grow. I've seen amazing changes in our team that have been involved in this work. Many have new careers because of it. Innovation gives inspiration. It inspires others to come forward with their own new ideas. It can change people's careers, give people new focus, and it's a great morale booster. Thank you.